Pellegrini's dropping. Could be close for Vogel here. Vogel well tries, cuts lap. back inside. Oh, makes a bit of a mistake. He had a great line there, and it cost him. Now he's going to work the outside. Can he cut down through here? If he could split them, Jeff, that would have been a really good move. Instead, he's going to try to gas it still around the outside to the white flag. Oh, they touch the midair, and they go down hard. And they both are able to stand up and run off the track. Oh, man, that was a big problem right there. Pellegrini on the 941, and Vogel drops back to his knees. Oh, man. We didn't get a chance to see Wharton closing on him, and the asterisk medical crew is there to check on Vogel. There's Mike LaRocco, team manager for the Geico Honda squad, the former Supercross star has walked up. Let's watch this again, Jeff. Okay, now watch as both riders come over. They're both trying to kind of stay away from each other, but it, as Bogle was trying to ride the right side, Pellegrini was fading. And Bogle goes down pretty hard. It looked like he landed on Pellegrini's bike. One more look at it. Pellegrini definitely was fading from his left to right and got into the side of Bogle. How about Catanzaro? What a view he must have had seeing those two guys crashing in front of him, not wanting to hit either one, and he was able to avoid what could have been a disastrous situation. Notice the look of frustration here because this rookie, he was absolutely flying here today, fastest qualifier, and now he's finding himself a little beat up and a trip to the LCQ. That's Mike LaRocco right there.